It's becoming increasingly apparent that having low emissions, low carbon products, low carbon services is, a, is increasingly a competitive advantage in today's economy, the, today's global economy, not just the national economy. So we're going to talk to Sarah Petrovan who, with Clean Energy Canada about a new study called The Next Frontier, which is all about low energy, low uh, carbon, low emissions, heavy industry, the toughest of the uh, sectors to decarbonize. So welcome to the interview, Sarah. Thanks, Markham. I'm happy to be here. Look, let's start with an overview of the study, please. Sure. So the study talks about Canada's heavy industry and the opportunity it provides. We spend a lot of time in this country talking about, you know, fossil fuel sectors, oil and gas sectors, sectors that are not necessarily consistent with a net zero future. But there are sectors that are consistent with the net zero future. There are sectors in heavy industry that produce things that we are going to need as we decarbonize and not only need a little bit of, need a lot of. Ma um, metals, uh, you know, anything from steel to aluminum, you know, minerals, uh, you know, whether it be nickel or even cobalt, you know, we talk about needing, we're going to need cement. Uh, we're going to need all of these things throughout the low carbon transition. Um, and so we should actually, this report talks about how we should actually focus on how we decarbonize those heavy industrial sectors and set them up to be economically competitive through the low carbon transition. Yeah, some of them are already fairly low carbon. So we, I didn't know that Canada made the, the cleanest uh, aluminum in the world, for instance, or that uh, even though... Uh, steel makers in Canada still use emitting technology, they're clean relative to other global steel makers. So clearly we have some uh, an advantage there. And it seems like some of it at least stems from the fact that 83% of our power grid is already clean. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Canada is starting this conversation from a position of strength. Um, you know, certain, not obviously not all of these heavy industries, but some of these heavy industries can tap into that clean electricity, aluminum being one, uh, you know, certain, certain steel you can actually make using an electric arc furnace, right? So they have an advantage from Canada's uh, clean electrical grid. So yeah, it's definitely something that we should, we should be proud of and that we should frankly leverage. Now, solar and wind are really cheap these days. Battery costs are falling literally off a cliff. Um, so is it fair to say that if Canada invests in you know, abundant, clean uh, wind and solar and batteries, that that can become a competitive advantage for not only decarbonizing our existing heavy industry, but perhaps attracting and growing more heavy industry? Well, let's let, let's let's unpack this a little bit because heavy industry gets its emissions, you know, not just from electricity, right? There are process and combustion emissions at play here, and and some of those can be solved with clean electricity, but a lot of them can't. And so there are other technologies that we're going to need to bring to bear. And in terms of Canada's relationship with the rest of the world, let's be clear: this is not something that Canada is stepping out on over a ledge to do countries, you know, with heavy industries, be it the UK, you know, be it Norway, you know, with their steel manufacturing, be it Sweden, you know, lots of countries in the European Union, you know, Japan, um, they, they are all seeking ways to undertake industrial decarbonization. They know that the world is moving towards increased climate action and that the goods that the world is going to start to demand are going to require them to be cleaner and cleaner over time. And so they're seeking ways to help support their heavy industry decarbonize by investing in technology. You know, it's very, it's very possible that Germany could do for clean hydrogen what they did for wind and solar back in the early 2000s, right? The economies of scale, of scaling up these clean technologies, these clean energy solutions could be a game changer. Well, let's talk about hydrogen for a moment because I've interviewed a number of experts who, about heavy industry decarbonization. And they say, look, some of it you can do with electricity, but some of it you can't, as you said. And hydrogen seems to be the candidate to do the things that can't be done with electricity. And that would argue that Canada should be investing very heavily in, in hydrogen 
uh, because it has other implications for things like heavy industry. It, would you agree with that? Yeah, so I mean, there was a study at a Harvard University uh, by researchers, sorry, out of Harvard University that identified Canada as being one of the more natural candidates um, for having the greatest opportunity to scale up uh, production of clean hydrogen. Um, they saw, they cited our clean electricity grid as being one of those uh, natural advantages. Also, you know, access to two, two major shipping ports uh, for export. And, you know, uh, hydrogen is an important, could be an important clean energy solution for, uh, you know, heavy industrial sectors, as you mentioned off the top, one of the, the toughest sectors to abate in terms of carbon emissions. I think another important uh, clean technology solution will be carbon capture and storage. Um, certainly when you look at industrial processes around cement manufacturing, for example, I think CCS is going to play a major role in their decarbonization as well. Um, you know, there are other things that are also important, though perhaps less sexy things around industrial uh, efficiencies and other, other um, things that you can do to help improve, you know, air quality. These are all things um, sometimes recipes that go into the mixes of these industrial products all have an impact on emissions. So, you know, I think um, I think there's an important an important suite of solutions in terms of technology that are going to help solve the problem. Final question, Sarah. Uh, now you do federal policy. That's one of your areas of expertise. And we just saw in mid December the uh, Trudeau government come out with a major update to its climate plan that was generally praised by environmental groups. And are you seeing a recognition by the federal government and policymakers and bureaucrats that decarbonizing heavy industry, getting into hydrogen, I mean, this is a major push for Canada over the next 10 or 20 years? They're definitely wise to the opportunity. And I would say that they agree with our assessment that decarbonizing heavy industry is the next frontier when it comes to climate action. I would still say though, as far as Canada is concerned, we're still a little bit um, Canadian about it. We're still thinking about the strategy. We're still kind of waiting to see how other jurisdictions move. We haven't fully jumped in uh, with both feet and I think it's time we need to. Sarah, thank you very much for this. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Markham.